Assalamu alaikum and a blessed Ramadan from Kentucky. I'm here in Louisville, Kentucky, not just the home of Muhammad Ali, but also Kentucky Fried Chicken. Uh, I just wanted to check in with everyone and tell you something that I've learned from Imam al-Ghazali's book on uh, zakat. And this is a time where we are doing our zakat and thinking about it. And I found what I learned from him actually changed my whole life. You know how we're always told, be humble, be empty. Mm. That's what we're trying to do so much in this blessed month of fasting, the literal and the, and the spiritual emptiness. And so I always thought, oh, if I tell you, be humble, what are you going to do? Oh, how can you be humble? Well, interestingly enough, the imam in his explanation to some small children about zakat, well, small children in the children's story, taught me what humility is. And let me tell you the story. In this story, we have, um, this is uh, our children's uh, series of Imam al-Ghazali. The Book of Zakat, the children are at a, at a merry-go-round and they notice that some of the kids don't have the wherewithal to pay the small amount to ride. And they looked a little shabby. And the children are on their way to meet Haj Abdullah, who is their elder who teaches them, teaches them Ghazali in a secret, sacred garden. And as they rush in, they see a beggar who is saying, Lila, Lila. And they go to Haj Abdullah and they say, why are some people rich and some people poor? And Haj Abdullah says, well, the li, Lila, Li means for the sake of God, but it also means it belongs to God. Inna lillahi, surely we belong to God, right? And the children come back, he gives them money because we don't disappoint. If someone reaches out, if someone is sad, all the ways people are reaching out to us, every moment is an opportunity for giving. So they return and he's, um, he's sitting there and he says, children, but I'm just saying this to me, all right? Um, did I, he says, did, did you give yourself who you are, your strengths, your qualities, your place in life, your era, your parents, your connections. We didn't give ourselves anything at all. It just makes me cry to say this because um, Ghazali says everything you have, I mean, everything we are, and that generates what we have, right? Is simply on loan from Allah, just on loan. It's just a debt and it's a trust. We're entrusted with who we are. And so I suddenly understood, ah, we can't take credit for anything because we're nobody. We're just receiving Allah's grace, his direction, his guidance in order to, um, in order to return our loan. And he tells a story, two stories about how not to give and how to give, how not to give uh, um, a king, the king, meaning Allah, went to a man of wealth and lands and food, and said, give to this poor family in the town, they're hungry, take them food. And this man, not realizing he, everything he had was really on loan. He said, no, this is, this is mine, you know, I do all the work. But the king said, take. And he went into the town and he held the plate of food up high. And the people who were then taking had to reach up, right? And naturally they felt lower, you know? begging even, and wondering were they now beholden to him now that he had given down to them. Wrong way to give. And it's a way, I hate to say that occasionally, there are, peasant, there are people standing on corners driving by with signs, give money for food or whatever. And I haven't remembered what I'm doing. It's like me, I have wherewithal, I'll give them a few dollars, giving down, right? Not knowing what I was doing. And in Ramadan, we should be very aware of what we're doing in giving. And so then Ghazali tells the story, and this will break your heart, of the second story where and how to give. A man who's an orphan is adopted by a family of wealth, and they teach him about money. And then one day the king, Allah, says, go, young man, this widow needs money, money to educate her children. So he goes and he takes the plate of gold and he stoops down, stoops and 
holds the gold low and he looks up into her face and he says, and this will really get you, oh, blessed lady, I beg you to receive what I bring on behalf of the king in order that I may fulfill my loan, my trust to God. So you can see I'm so moved telling this story because it, this, this is something we must not only keep in mind during Ramadan, but at all times. And I just wanted to share something with you that I have learned, um, which helps me with my zakat and my giving every day. Assalamu alaikum.